If you are building an application, you want to reach the maximum of users worldwide. But one crucial thing about that is that your application need to be multi-language. You can achieve that by simply rewriting the string.xml file into another language like Arabic or Spanish. Then the Android system will choose the device language for your application. However, we frequently want our users to change the language of our application by picking their chosen language rather than changing the Android device language. Salam alaikum, hey friends, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Sharfia Yunus and I provide tips and tutorials about Android development, software engineering, and even productivity hack for the developer community. In this video, we will see a simple library that will help us change the language of our application programmatically in Kotlin. So let's get started. So here I'm having a simple, a simple Compose Android project. Here I'm having a main screen. As you can see, it contains a column and text and some random buttons, as you can see here. And there is some simple preview to see the app. So as you can see, it contains three buttons to change the language from English to Arabic to Spanish and a simple text that will change. All right. So these texts are here in the string XML file. You can see one for the English language for the Arabic language, and finally for Spanish. So we can see the language change dynamically when working in the application. So this is the setup for this application. First, we will see the library. Here it is the library, which is Linkware here. Basic setup is here. You can see we download this repository and this implementation, and we will see how to use the initialization and how to change the language of the application. Let's go back to Android Studio. Let me close this. First, let's go here to the project and select Gradle file. And here we will add this sample line, okay? That's the first thing we need to add. The second thing, go to here to setting.gradle file and here add this line to use the main repository for JITPAC, okay? Now you can sync the application and you are ready to go. Now, after that, let's go here to the main package and let's add another class. Let's call it the language application, which will be typed application, right? We'll call it language application. Now, the first thing you need to add will some basic imports. We will see them here. Then we will make this class inherent from the application class, like that. This application class from the Android app class. Then after that, we will override the onCreate method, like that. And simply, we will add a simple line to initialize the library, which is init, linkverb.init.application this. Now, after we have created the language application, we need to tell the system or the Android manifest about our application. All right, go here to the manifest and add a simple line, which is the language application name, which is the name of the class, our class name, which is language application, which is this class. Now the initialization was good. Now, after that, let's go to the main activity. Here in the main activity, we have the main screen. In the main screen, we have three click listener on English click, on Arabic click, or on Spanish click, all right? So basically it will be the same operation, but we will change only the length. Here, let's start adding our first line. Well, to understand briefly here in the main screen, here in the main screen, we are exporting each click listener outside through the parameter of function. So we have three lambdas here, and we are passing it on the click listener here, okay, for each button, all right? So we are making sure everything is all right here. Go back here and let's add our first line. The line is simple as the following. We'll add linkver.get instance, the instance of the library, and then we will set the local, the local which will be the language. Here we will put this for the context, and then we will use the local or a string. All right, we will use a local or a string. Simply, the string will be the language of our application. Here, for example, for English, we will pass en like that. Okay, and we can duplicate this line here for these two and we will change basically, basically only the language. Here for Arabic to be AR and in Spanish to be ES, like that. We do this command to make the code good and we will run the app. Something interesting will happen. It won't change the language. Why? Because we need to create re or recreate the application or recompose the application. Okay, if you click here on Arabic, nothing will change. On Spanish, nothing will change. Okay, but if we relaunch the application now, next time it's in Spanish. Okay, as you can see, Hola Mundo, Arabica, Ingles, and Espanol. All right, if we change it to Arabic and relaunch the app, you will see something in Arabic. All right, for example, Arabi, Espanol, Marhaban Bil Alam, and everything is good. Okay, we need to redesign or recreate the application. Simply, you will pass here another function or another function here from the activity called recreate. Okay, 
Now, if we run the application now, well, it will be in Arabic first. Then if we choose English, it will dynamically change. Hello world, okay? If you choose Spanish, it will change like that. Arabica, for example, and so on. So this is how you can change the language. Now we have some duplication here, which, which will require us to do a function. Okay, so we will choose that. We we'll do this shortcut to create a function. Let's call it change language. And here we will export this. Okay, what well, we will delete is composable here. We will change this to, for example, language. And we will pass language as parameter of simple string. Now we will pass here or Spanish. And here it will be AR. So this is how you can simply change the language of, of the application. Now, sometimes we want to save this. So if you want to save this, for example, if you want to display a radio button for each language, so you need to remember which language. You can access the current language or the default language directly from the local from here. You can go to local.default. And here in the default, you put the language, okay? The language will be a string and the string will be of type ISO exactly this one. So if you search for this on the internet, if you search for it and you see the list of ISO here, you can see that each language have character of two letters, okay, for all the different languages. So you can check here all the different languages and you can preserve this two letters. For example, you can use shared preferences like I was doing previously, or you can use data store, the new Jetpack library. If you want me to do a video about it, let me know in the comment below. I'll be happy to do it for you. All right, so this is simply how you can change the language of our application. So this is it for this video. Using this simple library, you can change the language of your application dynamically and programmatically. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like for this video. Thank you very much for watching this video. Till the end, I really appreciate it and have a happy coding day. Salam alaikum.